Today we're going to do something really new and exciting. We're going to melt copper to make aluminum bronze with the induction unit. This is the power supply. I will probably make another video about it, just how I made it. Bridge, some capacitors at the back, and the unit itself. That's what it looks like. There's a some fans on it and this is our coil we're going to melt this first we're gonna throw in aluminum and then we're going to throw in this copper ingot which I got from some wires and we have a water pump here for cooling and that's what it looks like overall let's get to it Okay, the unit is uh, idling now with an empty crucible. This is what it's drawing. That's the current on the high voltage side, so that doesn't reflect the current that's on the low voltage side, which we can estimate. Um, that's the voltage on the low voltage side. So now we can actually calculate the current. So we've thrown in the aluminum, uh, everything looks to be stable. So aluminum has melted in about uh, 15 minutes. It's time to add copper. So we're continuing our journey here. Power has dropped significantly though to about 570. And voltage gone up by 3 volts there. It was 45 before. Meanwhile my molds are baking to get all the moisture out. Those are for ingots and the far one is for a dagger that I'm gonna hopefully cast today. When you see this kind of shining, that means that copper has melted and you can see it through the insulation. Whoa! We'll try to stir it a little bit. Prepared the first mold for the ingots and we gotta test if it shatters at all then we can actually pour our dagger after that.
Okay, time to unearth our treasures. So, this is the ingot. Looks pretty nice. Um, okay, I may need extra effort to open this one up. Okay. Oh, it cracked, unfortunately. Well, I suppose this is a cursed dagger. We're going to have to recast this.